Hello, um, uh, Black Cat here. I am here. I just want to discuss some memorable bosses from the game. And, uh, so the first one really is the death ball you fight in Fallout 4, the first one you fight. Well, it, the, it's usually just, for most of you guys, it's the one in Concord, but sometimes you guys just explore the world before just going straight over to Concord. Just go for best of that. If you don't have Fallout 4, you should probably get it. It's a good game, but that's it. And um, some bosses are actually like Fallout bosses. So another one would be the Mindalert Queen. Not just any of them from Fallout 4, but the one um, that you fight over at the cast. For when you're doing that mission with Preston and all the other Minutemen to take over the castle. You start destroying the egg and stuff, and then the Mindalert Queen comes out. And she she puts up she puts up a decent fight, but um eventually you manage to take her down no matter how many times. Sometimes some with some auto saves maybe, and a good amount of like mini nukes and missiles maybe. Thank goodness. All right, so I sorry I'm just this gameplay is me playing right now. So, right now, I'm, yeah, I'm just playing Fallout Shelter. There's no memorable bosses in this game. But a boss I do like to talk about is the uh, one girl working with Dawn or whatever his name is in Watch Dogs 2. Where you try to infiltrate her little, like, basement looking area. But it was a trap, and she raked the whole area with explosives. And you have five minutes to defuse all the explosives or you die, because you, you can't get away out. Your actual character chooses not to get out, and that's the thing. It's really annoying, but after some tries, you manage to beat it. You can beat it on your first try. I failed once, but then completed it. And, um, yeah, there's that. So I'm just going to do all this stuff. Mm. Gotta get all this stuff done. Things. But a real memorable boss is for the, the Fortnite. Fortnite saved the world, really. And that's uh, when when you on your first mission you manage to fight your first smash for those of you who don't know that is what that is you start watching like gameplay videos of fortnite or something but all right what it really is hold on okay the it's it's a really good boss all right you fight a smasher for your first time realize what it can do and then you can start preparing yourself for the next time you see one. Uh -huh. it, they're really annoying in the actual game. So, but you don't fight them for uh, some time. So for those of you who are just waiting for Save the World to come out, like extremely soon. Okay. I cannot. I got the cat. Um. And it's a memorable box, okay? And um, another one, uh, let me think. I didn't really prepare much for this. And um, 
It's been a while since I played some of the games I've played. Oh, hold on. Um, well, another memorable boss could is um, Kessler from Infamous. And it's really a memorable boss. Once you actually kill him, you figure out that he's you from like the future or something like that. He went out and back in time searching for who was him in that in the timeline that you play on. That you play on. It, it was a dangerous power, but you managed to succeed. Thank <laughs> you. 